This is only in Qatar. In our videos we will get you familiar with this astonishing country and its people. Today we will show you who are the top 10 most influential women in Qatar. Women in Qatar have the right to work, however, they will usually get their family's approval on their career choice and pursue a job that is socially acceptable. Qatar's number of working women has been steadily rising, with fully 51% of women working. Women in Qatar are free to open and run their own businesses. In fact, 6% of women in the country run their own companies and this rate is higher than any other Gulf country. If you are ready to get inspired by this, please hold tight, because we are going to reveal you who these great women are. And of course don't forget subscribe to our channel. Number 1. Her Highness Sheikha Moza bint Nasser Al Thani. Regarded as one of the most prominent female figures in Qatar, Her Highness Sheikha Moza bint Nasser Al Thani has been actively involved in many endeavors to help social issues and education in the country. She spearheaded Education City in Qatar which was built in 1997 under her leadership of the Qatar Foundation as chairperson. She is also the chairperson of the Education Above All Foundation and chairperson founder of the Qatar Social Work Organization and a United Nations Sustainable Development Goals advocate. She also is a major advocate for emerging fashion designers in the Arab region as the honorary chair of Fashion Trust Arabia, which launched in September 2018 under her patronage. She received a Bachelor in Sociology from Qatar University in 1986, and holds a Master's in Public Policy in Islam from Hamad bin Khalifa University, and she is a mother of seven children. Number 2. Sheikha Hanadi bint Nasser Al Thani. Known as one of the most successful Qatari women, Sheikha Hanadi is founder and CEO of Al Wab City Real Estate Development Project. Vice Chairman of Nasser bin Khalid Al Thani and Sons Group and founding chairperson Q Auto, the founding chairperson of IMJAZ Qatar. As a successful businesswoman and philanthropist, she is a prominent figure in the business world. Sheikha Hanadi holds an executive MBA from London Business School, a master's degree in economics from the University of London, and a bachelor degree in economics from Qatar University. Number 3. Batina El Ansari. Batina El Ansari is one of Qatar's leading businesswomen and the founder of Tamkeen Training and Consulting Solutions which facilitates the advancement of Qatari women in the workforce within three main segments of training, development, business and consultancy. Al Ansari is also a member of the MENA Business Women's Networks, a board member of Qatar Business Women's Association, and a mentor at the Qatar Professional Women's Network Circle. Number 4. Aisha El Nudaka. Aisha is a major figure in Qatar's rapidly expanding entrepreneurial ecosystem. In the period 2011 to 2014, she has served as executive director of Injaz Qatar, where she began as a volunteer in 2007. She is an alumni of World Economic Forum's Global Shapers Community, a global network of exceptionally talented young people making a positive impact in their communities. She has played a significant role in starting and growing Qatar Business Incubation Center during her role as CEO in the period 2014 to 2019. She is one of the board members of Injaz Qatar. She is currently Director of Strategic Initiative Partnership Development in CEO Office at Qatar Foundation. Number 5. Her Excellency Dr. Hanan Mohammed Al Qawari. Dr. Hanan Mohammed Al Qawari was appointed as Qatar's Minister of Public Health in January 2016. She is also Managing Director of Hamad Medical Corporation, a position she has held since 2007. In October 2018, Her Excellency was elected as an international member of the United States National Academy of Medicine. While being a part of medical research initiative known as Qatar Biobank, her Excellency Dr. Hanan has been recognized as Managing Director of Hamad Medical Corporation, which is regarded as Qatar's largest public hospital. Over the year it has been transformed into a major academic medical center. Number 6. Dana El Farden. 
Dana L. Farden is Qatar's only female contemporary composer. She is also a songwriter and symphonic artist, drawing on her rich cultural heritage and influenced by her love of world music. Her work is a blend of Arab-influenced contemporary classical, epic in scale and universally accessible. She made her debut on London's West End in 2019 and has also been appointed the official composer for Qatar Airways. Number 7. Nayla Al Thani. Nayla first realized her passion for giving back to education while studying in New York. Having won an all-expenses-paid scholarship from Qatar's Higher Education Institute to pursue a master's course at Columbia University. With her studies completed, she returned to Qatar age 22 and embarked on a career in teaching. While championing gender equality and female empowerment in the region, Nayla Al Thani is an inspirational Qatari woman in the field of education. As she progressed in a career of teaching with the assistance of Teach for Qatar non-governmental organizations, and has overcome the challenges in the region. By spearheading a new era of thinking positioning women in society, she is truly inspiring the future generations of tomorrow. Number 8. Sheikha Al Miasa bint Hamad Al Thani. While building an exciting creative future for Qatar through her work at Qatar Museums, Sheikha Al Miasa has amplified the nation's cultural institutions and heritage sites by creating a local first outlook as Qatar continues to expand its creative horizon through local and regional artists. Sheikha Al Mayasa founded the Doha Film Institute in 2010. It is dedicated to film appreciation, financing and education. It aims to build a dynamic film industry in Qatar and nurtures regional storytellers. She is also co-chair of Fashion Trust Arabia. Number 9. Sheikha Asma Al Thani. Sheikha Asma Al Thani is a woman with many achievements. She is an adventurer and very involved with sports in Qatar. She is also the Director of Marketing and Communications for the Qatar Olympic Committee. And, that's not all what she did. She pushed her boundaries and challenged herself to become the first Qatari person to ski 80 kilometers across the harsh and terrain in freezing temperatures to reach the final degree of the North Pole. Before that, in 2012, she reached the peak of Mount Kilimanjaro in Kenya to help raise 2 million of riles for building schools in Gaza. In March 2019, Sheikha Asma was seen at the base camp of Mount Everest as the first ever women from Qatar. Sheikha Asma is a sports lover at heart and a great adventurer. Number 10. Dr. Hessa Al Jaber. Dr. Hessa Al Jaber is the first ever Minister of Information and Communications Technology in Qatar. Following the formation of the nation's new cabinet by the Emir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani in 2013, she is the third Qatari woman to assume a ministerial position in the state. Prior to becoming a minister, Dr. Hessa held the position of Secretary General of the Supreme Council of Information and Communication Technology. Additionally, she played an integral role in foundation of Qatar Satellite Company which successfully launched Qatar's first ever satellite in 2013. Dr. Hessa holds a Bachelor of Science in Engineering from Kuwait University and a Master's Degree and PhD in Computer Science from George Washington University. Now that was it for our second video about some interesting Qatar facts and these special women. If you want more, please subscribe, like, and tell us in the comment what's the most interesting and controversial thing you've heard about Qatar. Do you believe it's real? Thank you for being with us and see you soon.